there's one thing that Mary stakes very, very well. I have a tomahawk steak, and who better to teach me how to cook it than the steak master himself, Guga Foods. Yo, yo, yo. yo, what's up, Guga? I don't really, I'm learning to cook, and I thought, what better way to learn how to cook a steak than from the steak king himself? How many steaks do you think that you cook in a year, would you say? If you had to, if you had to guess. In a year? In a year? Uh, maybe... 600, 800. That's insane. So you, so you definitely, if anyone knows what they're doing when it comes to steaks, it's gonna be you. So I'm not the most fluent when it comes to cooking. So I'm trying to learn, trying to you know learn for the best. And we got here, we got like a, we got like a two and a half pound ribeye hanging out right here. And I wanted to get your thoughts. What, what is the best way? If you had a, if you had a ribeye like this, how would you cook it? It's hard to say what's the best way because there are several different ways that are the best way. It is the one that you should be in the mood for what you're looking for, right? Okay. So that's number one. Great. Now, with that being said, we can go the traditional method. Uh, but what I will tell you is this. It doesn't matter how you cook your steak. There's one thing that Mary steaks very, very well, and that's butter. Butter. Right? <laughs> so butter and steak is the perfect marriage. Yeah, right? but butter is so, better, if, I, if I'm quoting you, I think. <laughs> the more butter, the more better. The more butter, the more better, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what I, what I would do if I was at your weather and uh, freezing yeah. to death, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. what I would probably do is smoke the steak in direct heat. Okay. And then once the steak is smoked, first season it was salt, pepper, garlic powder. Okay. Then smoke the steak at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, nice and slow until it gets the temperature. Okay. Then I'll finish it off however I choose. We can go with a cast iron skillet, butter basted with thyme fresh and garlic. You can That's go good. even some more um, uh, crazier than that if you wanted to. Now, one thing that you, you might want to try, I don't know if you have available, is did you ever tasted uh, bone marrow smoked? No, I haven't. If you want to have an, a unique experience, this is what I would recommend you do, okay? Smoke some bone marrow and then uh, reserve it. And okay. then combine it with a butter together with Parmesan cheese, <laughs> third egg yolk, yeah. and gochujang. Uh, are you familiar yeah. with it? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gochujang. Make a nice compound butter. Put it together and then finish the steak off and lay that on top and it's gonna be good. If we're doing a steak Guga style, I think we gotta do bone marrow. I think we gotta find bone marrow, Mike. Um, a lot of people don't like bone marrow because you might have like a strong flavor, a mm -hmm. earthy flavor. Yeah. And the ones that experience that is because they're not brining it before and removing all the blood. Okay. So make sure you put it in salt, uh, water, and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. Extract all the internal blood and then you will be like, filtered butter basically and it will be amazing the only thing that i will also recommend is that th th that steak is going to be so good and that butter is going to be so good buy a nice crusty bread okay like uh, you know something like this like a friend <laughs> just just bread. whips out a baguette <laughs> yeah, casual like that, and then you just like you dip that thing in and you eat it mm -mm -mm. So the most important thing invite me so i can go eat Okay, will do. We'll have you out here soon. Awesome. Well, hey, you're the man, Guga. I appreciate you taking this time to, uh, to talk with me. We really appreciate it. No problem, brother. Good yeah. luck and send me pictures. Oh, we will. I want to see you both. I'll be all three of you in Miami. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> well, let's get it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Good luck. Hey, thank you. See ya. Guga. We talked with Guga. We got the tomahawk. We're going to cook this tomahawk with bone marrow, like Guga said. So, what I did, it's actually been a few days since we talked to Guga, but we got everything ready. So last night, I boiled some salt, some water, poured some salt in, and then I did this whole bone marrow-y stuff, and I let it sit overnight in the bone marrow to let all the gross stuff come out. You can kind of see it in the water there. It's all nice and, and red. I want to make this steak, this tomahawk, as close as we can to how Guga would make it. So he cooks with charcoal like almost all the time. We're gonna throw some charcoal in the smoke box to give it that extra gooby-y flair. Okay, we're just gonna season this bad boy now. We just have salt, pepper, garlic powder. He's very, very, what, what was he? What's the word I'm thinking of, Mike? He's very adamant. adamant. So let's do it. You're gonna have to let me know, Google, how that one. I can't take no loss, huh? I don't even know what it costs, huh? I hit the ground and it go off, yeah. Hit the ground and it go off, yeah. I can't take no loss, yeah. 
Turn your head and cough, Mike. So now we're gonna start working on the bone marrow. This is so foreign to me. So these aren't the fancy ones that Guga had, like where he cuts them in half, like the femurs. But like, I don't, I don't know, what do you do? <laughs> I'm just gonna put them here. I'm going to dry them off, because I think that's what we should do. Then I'm gonna season them again, I guess. I didn't know this was fat. Did you know it was fat, Mike? Looks like that doesn't know. I don't know if we should season them or not. Because there's like, there's not a ton of stuff in there. I mean, we can. I don't think there's any harm to it. WWGD, what would Google do? Hit the ground and go off. Yeah, hit the ground and go off. He said to put it, these on a little grate like this so that you can keep all the excess bone marrow that falls out. You can contain it so you don't lose any of it. The, the, the beef butter. And we're just gonna throw this in alongside the tomahawk in there. And then we're just gonna let it ride. All right, we got that in there. We're gonna let it go until it hits 150. And that's not right. 130, no, that's even wronger. 120, that's the one. 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I freaking, do. baguettes are freaking tight. Who doesn't love a baguette? Mmm, nice. So Guga said to get a crusty bread to use to eat this steak with. So a baguette is what I got, because that's what specifically he he said. So we're gonna cut this up. So we're about 500 degrees here on the sear box. I'm just gonna open it up, slam the steak on there, get a good sear, try to get it some flames, maybe, I don't know. And then for like 30 seconds to a minute, just to get a good, nice sear on there. We're gonna get the bone marrow out now and we're gonna try it. And Mike's gonna eat one just whole. He's just gonna suck it down <laughs> like that. Here we are. <laughs> we have some, well, I mean, that looks good. Yeah, that feels so, okay. That feels weird. Uh, th is, what is it supposed to feel like? Because it's like goopy. It's like, yeah. It's I, I see why they call it like butter. And just like look at that. Wait, what? What on earth? This is not. This is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. This was not it. I hope. I mean, I hope that's right. I mean, it makes sense why I call it butter. The beef, beef, beef butter. Um. You, you want to try a little bit? Yeah. Let's just, let's just, let's just, here, here. You kidding? I kind of want to just like, here, there you go, there you go. A little bit. Okay, and then we'll try it. Dang. Wait, what? I, I'm legitimately shocked at that. Hmm. That tastes so freaking good. Now, we're going to take some butter and we're going to I, I can't get over that, man. And the seasoning that you put on it makes it, I think. It made a difference. Definitely. It did. It did. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna just ploop it, ploop it in. Bloop. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why we're surprised. Guga knows what he's doing when it comes to steaks. Oh no, the Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna take our parmesan cheese that I just spilled and we're just gonna throw it in. Just, it's like that, I don't know how much. The Guga amount, the correct Guga amount. I mean, granted, it doesn't look the best. <laughs> but I feel like if you had some thyme, some rosemary or something, I could run in and grab some. I feel like that would also be good. But we're doing it the exact way Guga said. There's that, and then we have some gochujang. We're gonna put some of that, I just wanna, I just wanna do some of this just straight in there. Should we, we need to tent it. Okay, let's cover it. We're gonna cover it. And then we're gonna tent it and then we're just gonna wait and then come back, cut into it. Sound good? A little Parmesan cheese on top won't hurt anybody. All right, so I'm just going to tent it now. Over the foil, let it rest for, you know, 10 minutes maybe. Then we'll come back and then see how it looks. It's just a beefy, cheesy, buttery mixture. It's, it's kind of sadistic. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm so excited. Guga. <laughs> this might be the best steak I've ever made. I mean, it, I, you know what? I haven't even eaten it yet, and I can confidently say this is probably going to be the best steak I've ever made. Dude. Look at that juice. Look at all that. It's bathing. Look at that. Okay, so we have some of this gochujang. This is the exact same as this, as this stuff right here, because I added some gochujang. I know Mike is kind of a baby and doesn't like... Uh, Spice, so I just kept some out for him. You kidding me? 
<laughs> so I'm going to try, I'm just going to put a little bit, bit of this gochujang buttery bone marrow parmesan mixture on top. And I'm just going to. Mm. He's the king for a reason, Mike. He's the king for a reason. He knows what he's doing. We got the crusty bread. We're gonna take this, put it on a little bit of crusty bread. I want to put a little bit, a little bit, of, a little bit of this right on top. Just a little, just a little smothering. Mmm. Mm. Seriously, that was so Guga legend. He's a legend. And if you want to see me learn how to cook more expensive cuts of meat, in this video right here, the world food champion taught me how to make prime rib. So if you if you got a prime rib you need to cook, check that out. I made it taste good. Me, and I'm not that great at cooking. You don't have to be a chef to make things delicious. You don't have to be. I love you. Until next time, peace out. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my hand ready. Used to hold myself back, my self esteem damn bad. Yeah, keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke been heavy. Got a whole agenda.